Hello, everybody. I'm Sam, and this is a beginner speaking class about the unexplained. And hi, Jorge. Hi, Sam. Welcome back. How was your lunch? It was good. <laughs> I had a BLT. <laughs> Do you know what that what? is? A BLT. No. It's a sandwich. No, I don't know. What does it mean? Bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> ah, I liked lunch. Yes. Well, yeah, a lot of bacon, though, so <laughs> I don't know. I, I really ah, okay. <laughs> um, and hi, uh, Jamie. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Nice to see you again. Hello. How are you? Hello? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, uh, I, I'm hearing into sounds, but now it's good, the sound. Ah, okay. And, uh, and how are you? Fine, and you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So today we're going to have a conversation about the unexplained, which is lots of things, <laughs> like aliens mm -hmm. and ghosts. And I don't know, <laughs> lots of things. So we will so, take. Yeah, Jorge. Sorry, can I, can I ask you something before to start the class? Sure. Uh, oh, yeah. is is more a, a suggestion. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, I try to write uh, in the file that you give us uh, to make suggestions, but I didn't know how to write. And uh, basically, my suggestion is: if is it possible to reduce the quantity of the expressions that you uh, teach us uh, to to give more space or time to practice about these expressions that you teach us? Yeah, I know. I see what you mean. So don't put so many expressions in one class. So you have Yeah, more. yeah, yeah. More. Yeah, because I, I think the idea is to have the opportunity to incorporate that expressions in our, uh, in, in our speaking. Mm -hmm. But when there are too much expressions, maybe, <laughs> or you know, it's it's uh, it's overwhelming to uh -huh. try to incorporate that expressions in our speaking. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's a good suggestion. So um, tomorrow we'll do a few less and then spend more time speaking and using them. Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you so much. Sorry. Right. Um, okay, so uh, for this class, you will be choosing a question. And we'll all answer them together. Um, you can choose one person in class to ask your question to. And then we'll, from then, take turns asking questions. So I will go first. Um, let's see. I'll ask uh, Andre. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Have you or a friend ever gone to a psychic? Or fortune teller? If so, no. what happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. So, I think, uh, I I'll think change it's... my question. Would you? <laughs> um, I think uh, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. Because and... uh, I think it's. Uh, I don't. I don't believe in these things. <laughs> okay. Well, do you think it's? Silly, or what do you think? Uh, maybe it's not silly. Maybe it's, uh, it's about uh, psychology of the humans. When someone says do something, and if you uh, strongly believe in it, then maybe it will happen. Mm -hmm. That's how can we can explain something that that is, uh, for example, someone told you and it happened after some after several years, for example. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, has anyone else ever been to a psychic or a fortune teller? No. No? Mm -hmm. 
I never go to to fortune teller <laughs> or shake it. I don't know very well uh, what is psychic. Uh, psychic. 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 Uh, psychic. It's supposed to be someone who. Um, well, they do a few different things here. I'll show you. Psychic. Ooh. <laughs> Psychic. Uh, someone who can find information using ESP, so they can um, talk to dead people, for oh, okay. example. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Hmm. No. I never go uh, to these people. And Jorge thinks that they're thieves. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I, 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 I don't believe in that kind of person. I don't know if in the class there are something that believe in that kind of act activities or mm -hmm. yeah, of persons. Okay. Um, does anyone in class believe that fortune tellers and psychics are real? Like realistic information? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Um, Ali, do you have a story about this? I saw you were unmuted. No, I don't no. have a story, but uh, many people uh, go to site something like that uh, in my country. Mm -hmm. yes. Have you heard of tarot cards? Oops. Like this? I'll show you. Yes, yes. My roommate, um, uh, I'll say her name wrong so Ali can laugh. Irmac. <laughs> she, <laughs> yeah. No, no, your pronunciation is perfect. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I, I like the Simpson tarot cards. Yeah, she, she, yeah, me too. <laughs> Look at the Simpsons tarot cards. <laughs> um, she, <coughs> She did a tarot card reading for me with her Turkish tarot cards, <laughs> tarot book. Um, and then she did this um, coffee fortune yes. telling. Yes. Yeah. I was thinking about that. Have you ever done it? Yeah, she did it for me. Um, it was really strange. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I can tell you. Did she know about you or about your future? <laughs> did she predict, well, predict something? She's, she was one of my very good friends, so I think she just kind of used information that she knew about me, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, so Jorge, what do they do in your country? Uh, in my country, oh, I think there are many different kinds of um, superstition. Uh, for example, uh, reading the chocolate beverage, or reading the tobacco, or uh, reading the uh, I don't know how do you say the hand, but the palm, palm, palm. palm. Okay, the palm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And it's, do you believe you can find some places where there are people who uh, there are fortune tellers? Do you believe in any of this? No, no. No. <laughs> okay. I don't believe in any. I I only believe in me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. I only believe myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Oh, just a second. And so I have... I can tell you about myself. Okay, sure. I, I went uh, sometimes to Fortune Taylor. And uh, the first time uh, my boyfriend, it was like eight years ago, <laughs> pushed me toward and um, uh, to go to... It was a man who was uh, the Fortune Taylor. And she, he said a lot... Uh, a lot of uh, true things about my future. He told me 
that oh uh, this is gonna happen with you to you this is gonna happen to you and uh, you know when he said I was waiting at once it should happen but I realized after like two or three years that uh, the things that he told me they happen so for you it was realistic in a way yes but one time my uh, my friend was going to divorce with her, his uh, with her husband and she want to she wanted to go to fortune teller to know uh, what is going to happen and uh, I just uh, she went to this fortune teller and she asked me you, if you want you can go because uh, this uh, woman say says a lot of true and I said okay I can go I went to her and she said a lot of things uh, strange weird things but when I went out my friend uh, told me oh you know she told me such interesting and true things and she started to uh, to tell me and I was laughing because uh, that woman told me the same thing oh. as, <laughs> as she told her oh, <laughs> it was no. funny. but I'm telling you that uh, once uh, I went to that man a fortune teller and uh, he told me a lot of things that happen in the future uh -huh. that's funny <laughs> Um, I think they try to uh, predict uh, some general things that happen uh, in mostly way, with them, with, with everyone. everyone. Mm -hmm. I can say that uh, in a way maybe they can help you, for example, when you come, uh, they know for sure that you have problems if you come to a fortune teller. It doesn't matter wh or whether with your boyfriend or girlfriend, whether at work, but they try to encourage, encourage you, so tell, tell you uh, that everything is going to be alright and uh, mm -hmm. you should do this and this maybe in a good way. And I can tell you that it helped me. Sometimes it helped me. So it can, it can be helpful for people? Sometimes, yeah. Okay. Um, why don't we go to another question? Uh, who did I ask originally? Uh, Jamie, right? I think. So, yes. Jamie, why don't you choose a new question for us? Uh, I choose one question. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you believe there is life on other planets? Okay, a uh, new topic here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. What does everybody think? Is there life on other planets? Do you I believe think. in aliens? I think that there, uh, there is there are uh, life uh, in other planets, but I think that uh, intelligent life it's quite uh, impossible. Uh, it's more, it's, more, it's more difficult, but uh, life, uh, microscopic life, I think it there is possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, but not intelligent life. No. Okay. Anyone else? I think why not? If okay. we live in, in our uh, planet, then maybe there are some other... Uh, uh, Humans, not humans. I mean, uh, rather other races, maybe other aliens who live on other planets. Mm -hmm. But uh, we can't uh, make uh, contact with them still. So, do you think in the future we will be able to? Maybe. I think we sent uh, a satellite, uh, some kind of satellite. Uh, and it is uh, is uh, now out of our uh, solar system, mm -hmm. and it is flying. Uh, I don't know where 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 it is flying, but uh, it is trans uh, it is transmitted like it it is it is have a 
some kind of radio transmission that uh, tells everybody about our uh, humanity, about our <laughs> so who we are, where we live, and maybe oh, someone. Oh, really? There's we... like a, a transmission just kind of generally spread out to. Yeah. Oh, I think... Interesting. I didn't know that. Hmm. And um, it is. It is still flying. And it is uh, out of our solar system already, and it is still fine. I wonder what it will find. <laughs> <laughs> um, Julio, what's going on there? <laughs> oh. And hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Andrea. Well, in my opinion, I believe that uh, there is extraterrestrial life, intelligent life. And I think they have been in contact with us for a very long time. Actually, I think they, in some way, lead our civilization and help it to grow. Uh, here, for example, I'm showing some pictures. These are, um, that you can see in different cultures, ancient cultures, they have been doing this, uh, um, how do you say these models or um, figurines? Um, figurines or sculptures? Artifacts. Yeah, artifacts. Yeah. Some are some of them are carvings uh, that you can see that resembles resemble aircraft or spacecraft. Others resemble uh, suits or helmets that just. Uh, doesn't match with the culture that they uh, or or the surroundings where they were living. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, it is one is in Mexico and actually it's, it's very interesting. This is called the I know this one because I'm from Mexico. This is called the Palenque astronaut. Okay. And you can see it's a carving in a rock that resembles a like person inside of a machine. Ah. Oh. It's like pulling. And when, uh, when was this made? This was made uh, like uh, I guess it was around um, 500 uh, BC. Mhm. Mm so it's it's a uh, this is long time ago. Yeah. And they didn't have the. I mean, uh, there is another one, like the Nazca Lines. I don't know if you have heard yeah, about yeah. it in Peru. Uh-huh, yeah, the Nazca uh, Lines. I've heard. Yeah, some of them are huge, several kilometers long. Mm -hmm. Some of them, uh, there is, here is one. And this one resembles like a, like an art field. Mm -hmm. So they didn't have any reason to do these lines if... if, if you can find a use for this if, if there were some kind of aircrafts there or a way to see these lines from the air. Mm -hmm. So these are very mysterious. And they did this with uh, great precision. So, so I uh -huh. Well, I'm a believer. I believe that, that we've been in contact with, with this uh, extraterrestrial life for a long time. But they just decided to... I don't know to to guide us, but not to be in uh, in contact with us, so they can let us, they can let us uh, grow our own civilization, right? Does anyone agree or disagree with Julio? I agree. Uh, I saw I watched a movie once that about the same uh, the similar pictures in uh, Egypt, I think. Uh, in that uh, very resembles spaceships and some kind of uh, helicopters. And I think ancient Egy Egyptians uh, called them gods who visited the, the Earth. And, yeah. mm -hmm. okay. In my and case, I am ex ex skeptical. You're skeptical? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I I I believe uh, that there is a life in other planets, but I don't believe that uh, the ancient cultures uh, have uh, some relationships with aliens. Okay. 
We don't know. I don't know. I guess that uh, when there is no uh, real truth, is it's easy to to create histories, uh, stories. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I think it's it, uh, nobody has the truth about this. Um, could be possible or, or not, but in my case, no, I, I, I don't believe. Okay. But what, what do you think about this picture? <laughs> oh, every time, every time I zoom my screen, the picture gets. Uh, you can see here. I don't know if you can see it. The UFO the iconoclast. Yeah, this pic, this one painted was painted in the medieval age. Mm -hmm. You can see like uh, the crucifixion, and then in one side you can see something flying in the picture. In my yeah, case, Julio, I think there is interpretations, and everybody can have uh, many different interpretations about things. Yeah, I think it, it, for for me it's very difficult to understand how can understand a civilization on something that happened mm, thousands of years before uh, uh, but what is what is this for you like what is this thing in the picture for you I mean how can you interpret this how can you interpret this interpret this sorry yeah how can you interpret this I mean I think it's pretty clear I mean it's somebody in some sort of I think uh, 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 I interpreted this picture maybe uh, that uh, people when die uh, she fly to another life maybe I don't know hmm. it's it's another uh, kind of interpretation. Interpret something something that seems very strange to me is like for example you can see in this picture that the guy is like sitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's has somehow. I mean, it's sitting there. It's not like flying or like with, with wings. And here you see another guy, also like sitting, and it seems like he's like pulling or controlling some in somehow, the object. So I mean, if he's flying to another life, why would he be like sitting and controlling what he's, the object or the space or the thing where he's flying the artifact? I don't know. So this is very interesting. Um, okay, why don't we, how about, uh, Olga, why don't you choose another topic, another question for us to answer. What is the most frightening thing that has ever happened to you? Okay, so this means frightening in like a supernatural way. <laughs> like a ghost or, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. Does anyone have a story? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Maybe. I have a story about um, I couldn't find my keys and I knew that my keys were in the pocket of my um, uh, of my jeans and I was looking for these keys everywhere I tried to um, to take out the pockets of my jeans and look everywhere uh, like three days later, I found my keys in that pair of jeans that I was looking. So I don't know what happened, <laughs> but I'm telling you that I was I took the pockets from my jeans and I tried to find my keys. I was sure that uh, the keys were there, but I couldn't find at that moment, and then. Later, like three days later, I found uh, my keys and the jeans. Hmm. It's something strange. I, I can't explain it. Maybe uh -huh. somebody took your took your keys <laughs> and <laughs> put them back. <laughs> no, because at that time I lived alone, and 
I'm sure nobody could uh, take these keys and to put back in my pocket. Okay. Did anyone else have a strange or frightening experience? Well, I, I have one, but it's not. Uh, I don't know if it's supernatural or not. Okay. But I, uh, I, um, when I was a, a kid, I used to um, walk while I was sleeping. I don't know if you call it sleepwalking or sleepwalker. Uh, when you wake up, but you are asleep, but you are asleep, and you walk or talk. Yeah, sleepwalking. Mm -hmm. Sleepwalking, yeah. And this was very weird because one time my mom told me that uh, I sleepwalked like five kilometers oh my away God. from my house. What? Yeah, like I, I was able to with my eyes closed with my eyes with my eyes closed, I was able to open the door and there is another another lock that has a, a password and I and I opened that one too and I walked for all the street uh for all the sidewalk and I was able to work like seven, like five kilometers, and I was like crossing avenues and stuff like oh that, I completely asleep. And I sat in a bench, and I and I and I slept in that bench for the rest of the night. And, and when I woke up, I remember that when I woke up, uh, I I opened my eyes, and I there it was a police. Uh, car in front of me and, and my, my mom screaming and a police officer there and I was like what's going on why, why am I not in my room mm -hmm. and and then she told me the story that, that I was sleeping in my room and somehow I I got out of the house and I walked five kilometers uh, around the city and I fall and I and I sat and, and fall asleep in a bench That's and I don't remember anything any of that I used to sleepwalk too actually but I've never sleepwalked that far. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, Me too. And it's scary because I was like crossing the crossing the the road yeah. and crossing the streets. By yourself at night. By myself and yeah, at night and, and I sleep. So uh -huh. that's really it's frightening, oh. yeah. I bet your mother was like so worried. You, you didn't re yeah. remember anything? No, I don't remember anything. I just remember uh, waking up. And my mom screaming, and a police officer like, "Hey, calm down!" and and the and the sirens and everything. And it was yeah, it was crazy, but I don't remember absolutely anything. That's I crazy. just remember that my feet hurt <laughs> a lot <laughs> because I was I was yeah. walking with bare feet. Oh my gosh, that's so dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Um, does anyone else have a story? Something scary or frightening that's happened to you? No. No, so ghost, scary, uh, no ghost stories? <laughs> okay, uh, Andre? Uh, for example, strange, something strange happened uh, to me. For example, uh, one day I was going on some street and I was uh, just thinking about my friend that I haven't uh, seen for maybe five or ten years and there, there he go yeah, there I saw him uh, in front of me for example and uh, and that day I was uh, thinking about other things and they it happens happened after I think thought about it I don't know what 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 was uh-huh uh okay it's like uh, you think about some someone and he will appear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you should have this class around a campfire with like a yes. flashlight under your chin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, does anyone else have a story? Mm. No, no ghost no. stories. Maybe no one wants to admit their ghost story. <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger, I used to be afraid to go up the stairs at dark. I would have to look behind me and like run. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought something was there. Yes, uh, <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh, oh. 
I think it happens uh, every children uh, when we are children people talking about uh, something like that so yeah natural. and uh, children afraid of the dark or uh, being alone uh, when you feel uh, you are alone uh, uh, someone run after you or follow you but uh, if you <laughs> Uh, uh, after you growing, maybe teenager or adult, uh, I don't believe them. Okay, yeah. I heard that, that this fear of the dark uh, comes or it's, uh, it was inherited by uh, generations and it started in, with the cavemen. Oh, the cavemen, really? yeah, that they um, they say that when they when they in order to protect themselves from the elements, they used to hide in caves, but most of the times they found bears in that caves that ate them or attacked them. So they they uh, developed this fear of the dark, and through generation it it have uh, passed from generation to generation in the genes. This fear of dark places because That's in the, yeah, I, I read that, that song that where. That kind of explains it, right? Yeah, because there's no reason to be afraid of the dark. Actually, some animals in nature they they go out in the dark and they uh, they are um, how do you say when they they, they, they do feel, their they feel safe, right? Yeah, exactly. They feel safe. Oh, there some are of them, like the owl. Yeah, they are nocturnal, like the owl and some mice and stuff like that, raccoons. animals like that. Yeah. Or nocturnal, I think. Some raccoons are. Um, yeah. Chupacabra. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, it was huge here in Mexico, I think. Mm. Chupacabra. Okay. Um, okay, well, let's do another question. Maybe, um, Ali, do you want to choose this one? Uh, does hell exist? Will you go there when you're dead? Why or why not? Okay, what do you guys think about heaven and hell? Remember, please be respectful <laughs> of others' beliefs, okay? We are living in the hell. Oh, <laughs> dear. Jorge, is your life so terrible? <laughs> Okay. Um, right. Any anybody thoughts about heaven and hell? Yeah, I would like to give my opinion. Uh -huh. uh, in my case, I think hell is. Uh, I I I want to say respectfully, hell for me is a, a creation for the the man. At the same time, the 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 heaven. Uh, I believe that a uh, human need to believe in something and when we don't have explanations about something uh, I think we try to explain using that kind of context yeah okay sorry I just realized I was muted I was just answering you <laughs> um, okay <laughs> Does anyone agree or disagree with Jorge? Yeah, I agree with Jorge. Uh, I mean, I don't believe or deny anything. I mean, I think religion is good for everybody mm -hmm. because it gives and a different perspective of life. But I think that some people or some groups have uh, have always tried to control us in some in some way. And they use fear sometimes to to control our behavior, and I think that hell is the ultimate fear. Like like you are going to be burned forever <laughs> and ever in the flames, and the devil is gonna be poking you with his. Uh, you say that tree, uh, that thing that the devil holds in his hands, like the the pitchfork. Ah, the pitchfork, yeah. He's gonna be poking you with the pitchfork, and you're going Poking. to be suffering. Yeah, yeah, 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, well, I think that that uh, that conception of hell, I mean, just doesn't fit in the teachings of Jesus or Mohammed or whatever prophet. No, I think they 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 preach about love, about forgiveness, about understanding. So it doesn't fit there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, so you think it's about the perceptions of, and like how it's being represented? Maybe not so much the idea itself. Yeah. 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 That's, okay. That's right. Any other thoughts about hell and heaven? I I agree with with uh, that uh, hell is is a um, way of control us. Um, and maybe heaven is the same. Uh, and if we if we don't don't do anything uh, good, uh, we go to the heaven or to the hell. And I think that it's a little complicated. Uh, to understand that there is a hell that uh, when we die, we die, uh, we go to the hell. Uh huh. Yeah. So you think it's there's more to it, right? It's not just black and white. It's complicated. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with that. Uh, this concept of hell and heaven uh, is just a religious way of influence people. Maybe it's not bad because uh, it maybe would, we would all be uh, behave like uh, bad people, and there would be m many much more bad bad people, for example, uh, because they don't believe in hell and heaven. So. Right. Mm -hmm. so, this is something that, that really amazed me. Uh, yesterday I was having a class with teacher Chad and uh -huh. we were talking about the future and some some of the students were sharing the idea that the future is going to be like a terrible place mm -hmm. like pollution and and the lack of energy in the future and overpopulation. But uh, something that I, that I pointed yesterday is that I think that People are being more educated now. Uh huh. That we have access to a lot of information that we we weren't able to get in ten ten years ago. You no, know? mm -hmm. the internet and and people are more open to talk about things. And this is something that I like. That I see people like, I mean, a hundred years ago it was impossible to say, or it was risky to say things like the things that we are talking right now, right? Like, you know, oh, yeah. this is a conception of hell or heaven. There's more to it than meets the eye. It's a philosophy or a way of life, you know? And I think that this is something that our children and our grandchildren are going to are going to enjoy, like being able to have a different opinion, to have different ideas and, and to being able to talk with people from all over the world and share their experiences and ideas. And, and I'm really glad that 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 we can have these conversations and, and I see people talking uh, very maturely about it. So mm -hmm, definitely, yeah, it's um, great. yeah, it's you, you can imagine. I mean, depending on the amount of time ago, right, a hundred, two hundred, whatever years ago, um, you couldn't even say things like this without being called a witch, <laughs> you know, like yeah. it's, it's crazy how much things have changed, um, yeah. and how much more progressive we are now, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and definitely for the good, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's a much more positive outlook, I think. <laughs> you have to be in the pitchfork, <laughs> yeah, exactly, get stabbed with a pitchfork in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Very interesting. Okay, well, let's let's see another question. Um, who has not chosen a question yet? Um, I think okay. Andre. Okay, Andre, why don't Me. you choose, choose the next one? For example, do you uh, know anyone who was 
miraculously healed or of a disease. Okay. Anybody? Can Can you explain healed? Yeah, it what means it? to to become healthy. So if you have a disease and you're cured, okay, the disease goes away, and it's a miracle. <laughs> Uh, I know uh, someone uh, uh, around me. Uh, uh, they have uh, some illness, uh, maybe headache, something like like that. Always, they go to uh, how to say, uh, not uh, uh, psychic people, maybe religious people, uh -huh. something like that. They. Uh, do something about the religion and they feel good. I think it's a psychological thing. They just uh, believe that and uh, they <laughs> heal the, themselves. But people believe that and they uh, uh, heal, uh, treat uh, some illness. Mm -hmm. So, do you think it's it's like it's psychological more than anything? Uh, I think uh, so. Yes. Okay. I agree. Yeah. Okay. If you um, believe uh, something, <laughs> you do that. That uh, kind of uh, that. I think. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like, um, okay. I be I believe <coughs> in the power of suggestion. Okay. When you believe uh, a lot in something, uh, that things can can be possible. Mm -hmm. So if you believe strongly enough, you can say yeah. Like oh, of course, in realistic things, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I I believe strongly in I don't know in in what, what can I say I don't know uh, teletransportation. Oh no. I, I think in, in that kind of example, uh, the, the miracles, for example, <laughs> when someone have a strong uh, faith about uh, to to getting better uh, about some disease, maybe it could it could happen. Yeah, so it, your psychology and your perspective can actually have a big impact, you think? Um, the doctors say that, too. Doctors say that your perspective, your outlook, your attitude, it can really affect your health and your, your level of stress, your healing. So, yeah, I can, I can see it makes but, a bit of a difference. But people don't believe the doctors, <laughs> just believe uh, some uh, uh, persons. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. How about another one? Um, Julio, have you chosen a question? No. Um, okay. There's lots here. I you can scroll them by yourself. I can't fit them all on my screen <laughs> at the same time. Mm. Oh my God! They are all. All of them are very interesting. Yeah, we could have another okay. class about this, actually. Okay. Uh, okay. I I think that this question is way way uh, over the top. Like, do you believe in God? So that's not the one. Okay. But, but I will go with. Um, can demons take over control of a person? Oh. How? This is a good one. Okay. Oh. It, here. Can demons take over control? Is possession a real thing? Uh, what do you guys think? Like in The Exorcist? <laughs> uh, it's interesting because I, I saw a video, videos of uh, people who just like uh, under the demons control and they they very uh, angry and they shout mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I don't know if it's it, it is true but I haven't seen the person <laughs> yeah. like that in uh, reality 
but maybe uh, some unconscious programs that uh, people be and people uh, believe that they have demons in them. I don't know. It's hard to say. So you think it's more people kind of go crazy? Mm, maybe not crazy, but uh, unconsciously uh, they have some kind of program that uh, that you believe that you have a demon. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I I sorry, I'm going to share a quick opinion about it. Yeah. I be I believe that. Uh, most of these possessions can be explained with science. You know, say so I, I have a friend who has epilepsy, mm -hmm. and like hundred years ago, well, no, maybe a hundred, maybe uh, five hundred years ago, he would have been slaughtered for having uh, epilepsy. Like, you are possessed; the devil is inside of you, right? But nowadays, yeah. I mean, he's been treated, he's in treatment, and he's doing well. But I do believe there are some cases that are, are that are out of the ordinary, uh, and I've read. Uh, I haven't seen any of that, but I've read about some people that present very strange behavior that cannot be explained. That they are able to talk in a different language, and that yeah. has been recorded. Yeah, and that they have, uh, for example, they have been able to say things about other people that uh, they they didn't have any way to know it like um, and, and people with incredible incredible strength uh, so I, I do believe there are some of them yeah like speaking in Latin yeah. yeah yeah I think that that some of them are really out of the ordinary like they we, don't, we cannot explain them that easily uh -huh. and, and I think there is a, something, uh, something that we are missing there. Like, like I said, something. There is something there that that uh, we are not able to explain yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think it's um, it's very hmm, cocky of us to think that we know everything <laughs> when. Things are when new things are constantly coming up, like your example about epilepsy. Um, at the time, they were just so sure that anyone with that type of disease was possessed, you know, or a witch or something. Um, and then, not that many years later, we know so much more. So it's interesting. I don't know how quickly things change and develop. And you know, maybe maybe at some point science and religion will will agree that, that yeah, maybe there's something else, you know. Now with quantum physics, uh, things are getting very strange down there. Uh -huh. like things appearing and disappearing out of nothing and uh, things that can be or molecules that can be in uh, the same place at this in both in different places at the same time. Mm -hmm. I mean things are going crazy in quantum physics, so yeah. And you know, maybe in a few years we are going to say, you know, there there is something else. There is another dimension. There is another. Uh, there is something more when you when you die. There is another thing. I don't know. It's possible. It's very possible. Yeah. Um, I think this is why many atheists are very open-minded about it, actually, and they they trust in science because they know that things can change so quickly, right? Um, you're like, sure, if you can prove it, then I'll believe it, <laughs> right? So, you never know, you never know. Um, and, it, Julio, did you have something to add? Sorry, I just saw your microphone. No, uh, I, that, that was it. Thanks. Okay. Um, okay, how about another question? Uh, has everyone chosen a question now? Me. Me, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> me, <laughs> me. <laughs> the, the ostrich Jorge. <laughs> okay, um, I would like to ask a question uh, that there is not in this list. Okay. Sure. If uh, somebody uh, believe in the hypnosis, and, 
the same time, and at the same time, they believe in past life, in another uh, lives. Okay. Do you believe in hypnosis? And do you believe in uh, reincarnation? To... Yeah, could be. Yeah, yeah. It, oh, I don't think my question... Oh, yeah, there it is. Um, which is like, um, you had a past life and you were reincarnated. Before yeah, and again. Actually, that, that question of reincarnation, it is on the list. Is it? Yeah. Ah, is okay. it on the list or on the list? In the list. I have problems with in and on. Ah, I know. In and on, they're very tricky. Um, okay, so here's the one about reincarnation, but I don't think... Oh, yeah, here's hypnosis. Do you believe you can hypnotize a person and make them do things? <laughs> okay. Well, so, I, I, I firmly believe in hypnosis because I have a friend who is a psychologist. Mm -hmm. He hypnotized me once. And it was really amazing because I was awake the whole time. I was I, I never I never felt asleep. I was awake and he he placed a coin in my arm. Yeah, and he started to talk to me and telling me how the coin is getting hotter and hotter and hotter every time. And and, and I really felt the pain, like the the, the coin was burning my oh, arm. Really? Yeah, and and when he, uh, when he took off, you can say when he lifted. When he lifted, when he lifted the coin, I had a red circle in my arm. I was actually burned. My burn, my skin was burned. What? Yeah, and it happened to me, and I saw it with my eyes. So it it really happened. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I read about it. About hypnosis? Yeah. And uh, and I read that uh, some people are more hypnotizable than others. Oh, really? For example, some people uh, are not cannot cannot be hypnotized because of their personality. They don't believe and uh, they may be more like... Uh, just they, they just don't believe enough to be hypnotized, maybe. Mm -hmm. hmm. And the others uh, can be hypnotized uh, very quickly. So you have to have a certain sort of perspective for Person, it to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Has anyone mm -hmm. else been hypnotized? I think that uh, maybe. Uh, the human mind is very. Um, we can act uh, in the human mind, and uh, maybe uh, it's a reason for hypnosis. Uh, maybe uh, some people can have the ability have the, the ability of of act uh, in in some people. And, and act in the in this mind and, and, and have the ability to 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 feel to, to feel to the other person that uh, this person wants mm -hmm. yeah definitely you have to have this connection right um, and yes. I think to go with that and with Jorge saying uh, maybe if you resist it or you don't believe in it really, you're resisting, then it won't work, I think. Mm -hmm. Julio, what's going on over there? Uh, this, is, uh, the, this is supposed to be pictures of <laughs> in morals. This you can so see like people from <laughs> nowadays that resemble people from the past like physically a oh, lot. so weird. Yeah, it's really weird. Some of them are like freaky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you could see but Jack Black and uh, the barber of the bill. <laughs> it look alike. <laughs> but ha have you, you seen there is a, uh, a photographer that uh, tried to, to meet people that they don't have any, uh, I don't know how to say, uh, parents and families 
and they are similar like um, tweets. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen. I think a it, it, it could be a similar explanation. Look, this is a funny one. Stalin and Borat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, here here it is, Jorge. The um, uh, I'm not a lookalike project. It's strangers who look like twins. This one. Yeah, look at this with Eddie Murphy and uh, unknown brother. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Damn, they are. They, they look, look very much alike. Yeah, they look very much alike. So yeah, did um, Anthony Hopkins and Socrates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I think there is more to it than meets the eye. You know, there is uh, things that we don't know. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I guess we should wrap it up. That's a very interesting class. Um, I think I'll probably do another one because there's lots of questions here we haven't even touched on, like telekinesis. Yes. But at something. midnight. Yeah, yeah, Maybe. at Maybe. midnight with, like, yeah. a campfire. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put yeah, on. I'll, I'll bring. I'll bring the marshmallows. So. Here, maybe. wait. I have an idea. One second. Hold on. Maybe <laughs> each questions uh, take uh, one class. I think. Yeah, probably we could do a a whole class on them. Um, we want. We want to sleep this night. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. No. Yeah, yeah, Andrea. Definitely, you should plan more of these classes. They are very interesting. We yeah, get to talk, and the, the good thing about this is that we get to talk without thinking too much about grammar and structure. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's, it, it's nice because sometimes we are like overthinking things. Or how am I going to answer this correctly? And then, and then you get to, to talk this way, and it helps us a lot to be fluent yeah, it's in just our English. Yeah, it's free speaking, and if you make a big mistake, then I'll fix it. <laughs> That's the idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, ready? awesome class. <laughs> <laughs> like play this while we're in class. <laughs> um, on Halloween in Spain, I scared the crap out of the kids. <laughs> I like decorated the room and turned off all the lights and had a little pretend fire and Halloween music, and they were so scared. They were so cute. I was telling scary stories, and um, I think I gave them nightmares. Oh, more. <laughs> okay, um, well, thanks for coming, everybody. <coughs> um, hopefully, I'll see you later on, and we'll definitely do some more classes like this. It was very interesting. Okay. So, Thank you. I'll see you Thank soon. You. Thanks, Andrea. Bye. Bye. Thank you.